Welcome, we are in week four of the Minimalist Challenge. Well, we just completed week four. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys everything that we let go of each day. So it's day 22 through day 31 that we're doing in this video. And for any of you guys who are just happening upon this video or you're coming into this challenge kind of like mid midway through and you're kind of like, what are these people doing exactly? Like, why are they getting rid of their stuff? Um, it's because we're doing a challenge. And so each day of the month, you get rid of that amount of items on that day. So day one, you let go of one item, day two, two items, day three, three items, and so on, all the way through to the end of the month. So I think this challenge was actually created by The Minimalist. So it's two guys and they're known as The Minimalist. They have, they have a podcast and um, I think they've got a YouTube channel and everything too. So, But those I think are the original creators of this challenge, if I'm not mistaken. So I just wanted to explain that for anyone who didn't know what we're doing exactly. This is a minimalist challenge that was created by someone else and we thought it would be really fun to do. So you can do this challenge by yourself or you can do it with a partner. If you do it with a partner, you are basically like competing with each other and you see who can go the furthest through the month. And if you both make it to the end, well, then you tied, you both win. Okay, we gotta get started with the items that we let go of this week. So day 22. Okay, it's day 22 and I'm going through some of my clothes right now. So I have 19 shirts here, t-shirts and tank tops that I'm letting go of. So 19, 20, 21 sweaters and then 22, my scarf, which I have another scarf so that I bought last year, so that's the only one that I'm gonna keep. Okay, this is my day 22. Hand hammered wrought iron uh, drawer pulls, made in Mexico, I was focused there. So, and a couple of pieces of hardware for the light curtains, and some other couple of miscellaneous ones we brought over from Maui, actually. Christine used these in a DIY project, and I just hung on to them. Okay, day 23 for me was clothing because I was actually going through all of my clothing. So actually I have a few days of clothing kind of in a row here. And then Michael had uranium glass. Okay, it's day 23. I've got clothes again today. So I'm probably gonna have clothes at least once more this week and I'm still going through some other items, but I've got 23 items here. So I've got these in some piles of five, I think. Yeah, so that's five there. That's 10. I've got some really nice Lululemon in this pile. Um, so any items that are super nice, like barely worn and really like nice brand or something, I'll have those on my blog sale. That is 12, 13, 14, couple sweatshirts, and then 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So this is some of my uranium glass that this is gonna be my day, uh, I think I'm on day 23 here. But this is just a black light. You can see how this stuff luminesces. Sometimes it's called uh, carnival glass or um, depending on where you are in the world, carnival glass, uranium glass, or Vaseline glass. So some of them you can see luminesce quite a bit differently. Day 24 was clothing for me and then Michael had more of his uranium glass. Okay, it's day 24, I'm going through clothes. I've got two piles here that I'm gonna let go of and then one pile down here. So I've got 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Okay, I'm still sorting clothes, but that is gonna be for my day 24. All right, here's another shot of my uranium glass. Vases, pitchers, punch bowls, juicers, candle holders, salt shakers, perfume bottles, pitchers, candy dishes, figurines aperitif glasses, uh, serving trays, mixing bowls, serving tray again. That one's a cake tray, uh, graduated pitcher. Day 25, I was still going through my closet, so I had clothing and shoes. And then Michael had some of his outdoor yard stuff, like he had a couple of push lawn mowers, um, some yard tools, uh, an old cage, like an old small animal cage. Okay, I'm still on clothes, day 25. So I've got a bunch of yoga leggings, some really nice ones from Aloe and Tiki, Noli. I've got uh, Lululemon shorts here. I got one bikini, which is a really neat one. It's almost like this faux kind of, I don't know, faux suede sort of look. This is the brand. It still has this liner on and everything. It's totally brand new. And here's the brand, because I don't know how to say it. I think it's Florida Peel. There we go. I have Under Armour, a few other 
tops here. So there's a few items in here that the really nice things are gonna go on the blog sale and then like other stuff I'm just gonna give away for free here. I forgot to mention I also had a robe that I was letting go of too for day 25. All right, this is my day, I believe it's 25. So I got a couple tool cases, Christine had a planner box, washer dryer manual, pretty sure I know how to use it by now. Uh, some all thread, just a piece of hardware. A couple of push mowers that I never even used. <laughs> a couple old boots that I thought I'd keep around for whatever reason. They're holy and worn out. Old lampshade, a fake plant, a trap that I'll probably never use and have not used. A couple pieces of glass, a fishing reel. <laughs> Why I have that. Um, a couple lead weights for diving, which I haven't been diving in a long time. An old globe. Uh, we had to switch out when we bought the new washer and dryer. We had to switch out the what they call pigtail there. Uh, some paint, a tool that does not work, baster, and uh, some clothes. All these clothes I'm probably going to turn into rags, ones that are raggable, I guess you'd call it. The other ones are pants that are just too big for me, like that belt, way too big for me. This old hat that I've had for years. Okay, day 26, I'm gonna have to look at my list because I had a bunch of different types of items. So I had like four pieces of clothing, four pairs of shoes, a floor lamp, cactus, dish garden that I had outside. So um, I sold that on Craigslist along with a few other plants. So I had like two ponytail palms, an aloe, a Madagascar plant, a dracaena, a pilea plant, a plant pot, an adinium, a geode bookends, calcite bookends, geode, I'm cleaning the carport right now. Michael had a customer come by from Craigslist and she was picking up lumber. And then I used to have this bench with a bunch of five gallon buckets and gardening supplies and everything kind of stacked in this area. So I still have all the stuff I use, but um, the customer saw, she was picking up the lumber for building a garden outside her house, like a little terrace type of garden. She saw all my supplies with top dressings and everything and she offered to buy those too. So I was like, sure go ahead and you know i kind of separated out everything that i wasn't using anymore and she bought everything and then of course i still have like all my you know potting soils for indoor plants and everything anyway that worked out perfect and i just got to sweep up and get my gardening supplies kind of reorganized and pots and stuff so um, oh, and those are Michael's rocks that those are going to be going, I think, in this video too, later on. So anyway, that worked out perfect. So she cleared out a bunch of my old soils and things that I just wasn't using anymore. So I still have everything that I currently use, like my uh, potting soil for like indoor plants and potting soil like for my cactus, succulents, palms, things like that. So I've still got all the stuff that I need, but she just took everything that I wasn't using anymore. Oh, and Michael had some like wooden plant stands and books. I've got a, a couple of scarves here that I'm going to let go too. So just a little lightweight one and this thicker, heavier one for winter. And then I have two tank tops that I'm going to let go of also. So this is part of D26 and I'll find the other items, but I have a customer coming right now to pick up some clothes. So I'm going to throw that in for them. Okay, so there's my three bags of clothes. Um, so I have my customer coming and they have a 17 year old daughter who um, I think most of this stuff should fit perfectly. So uh, they should be here any minute. Okay, so I was just going through my shoes and I've got a customer that's going to be coming by to pick these up. So I'm going to be letting go of at least four pair of shoes right now, so far. Um, I'm still going to go through my closet and kind of finish out some things, but they're going to be coming for these right now. So let me get these out there. Here's one of my items for today. I have a customer that's coming right now, so I got to go take this out for them, but that's one of my items for today. Day 26. I got some plant stands here. Some cool looking wood. This old table and uh, some cases and some books. Probably never get around to reading. I've had them all these years and never even cracked them. Uh, this one I did, but funny enough, we're in Arizona. A lot of it's about Tucson. <laughs> Day 27, I had makeup brushes, so I culled through all my makeup brushes, kept all the ones that I use all the time, and then let go of all the ones that I didn't. And then Michael had kitchen stuff from our kitchen purge. Day 27, I have 24 makeup brushes. I've got some eco tools in there. Let's see, what are these ones? These are pixie, but mostly eco tools, um, which I still have a bunch of makeup brushes. So I kind of just culled through and kept the ones that I use on a regular basis. And then these are all the ones that I just didn't really use very much. So I'm gonna let those go along with a few others. I've got an elf one there. And then I've got two eco tools uh, brush bags. 
and then some brush on nail glue which is just super old i've had that for years so i need to toss that oh i forgot to mention i'm also letting go of this palm wood mug along with those i'm sure there's more than 27 pieces in here. i'm sure there are. so it's the, the jars mason jars jars we've saved for canning stuff uh, juicer. Day 28, I went through our hall storage closet. Right at the end of our hallway here, we have a big storage closet and it's really deep. And so a bunch of stuff had gotten like pushed back to the, like the back and the bottom of our closet. And so I dug everything out, cleared it out, had a bunch of like old crafting supplies, things I just wasn't going to use anymore. So um, that is part of my day 28, just some of those items, old crafting items. So that was my day 28. And then Michael had bathroom toiletries. Okay, it's day 28 and I have some craft supplies and a lot of these I actually brought with me from Maui and I just, it's like leftovers from other DIY projects. So I'm just gonna let go of those finally because I've been hanging on to them for a few years now. And then over here I have a shoe box I'm letting go of that's just been sitting empty. Um, some other craft supplies. Actually, this is like, you know, to my old toothbrush, which I don't even have anymore. And somehow I just found that in the drawer in my bathroom, some headphones that no longer worked. And then, uh, let's see, what is that, like a badge or something to, yeah, to the Lapidary Club here in Tucson. Tape, just some tapes and ribbon, like a little hole punch. I've got a hat, a bag, uh, another empty box under there. And, oh, an uh, old cannon bag, which I never use this, so I'm just going to let go of that. Um, an old strap to a purse that I don't even have the purse anymore so I have no idea I just found that in the closet like buried away so I was like how do I still have that so that is my day 28 and that is actually Michael's over there I think that was I don't know if that was part of his day or what he's doing with that exactly I think he was going to post it on Craigslist so I don't know if he has that included in in this video or not uh, but anyway that is my day 28. That was my day uh, 28. <laughs> I didn't even make a dent in the bathroom, but right here I've got over 10 things, I think 10 things, including the thing Christine's had that since Maui. And uh, yeah, look at that, a deodorant from 2018 is labeled. Anyways, so I had a couple deodorants, some lotions, these things, I don't know what those belong to. Some stuff for my eczema that never works, so I never even used it, bar soap. Again, from a hotel, stuff you collect, you know, oh, I might use that. And then you put it in the cupboard and you never use it. The Vaseline I was using to put on my eczema too. So there's definitely uh, over 28 things in here, being that this is 10, you know, empty bottle, I was keeping that. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Yeah, you get the idea. Over 28 things, so day 28. Didn't even put a dent in the bathroom. And the reason I've got uh, apple cider vinegar is I was using that to soak in. It's supposed to help with your skin. It's like an astringent or something. Day 29, I have sterling silver jewelry, like a couple necklaces and gemstone rings set in sterling silver. Um, and then what else did I have? I had like some random items, like the Ridge wallet. Um, anyway, I'll just show you here. It was like a whole little container full of different items. Oh, I had my Tiffany jewelry in there too. Oh, and then Michael had kitchen stuff again from our kitchen purge. It's day 29 and here's all my items for today. We've got moonstone rings and these are raw moonstone. They're super chunky. So these are gonna be on the blog sale part of my website, not on the regular part of the website. And then I have like an ammonite ring, rhodochrosite, a couple of um, Australian opal rings, a little lotus flower ring, a little crescent moon and a star ring. I've got a couple of necklaces. Look at this little, I love this one. Well, I love both of them, Saguaro's and then that Saturn one. So gemstone and silver jewelry. And then, oh, I've got a little beaded bracelet back here. Tiffany jewelry. I've got a couple pieces that are more like collector's pieces because Tiffany, um, they're no longer in production with these. So those were a limited design. I got those back in 2009. And the matching ring too. Same design, matches the cuff. And then the uh, Tiffany, or Return to Tiffany heart tag choker. I've got a Yoga Zeal Moon Phases. This is a really cool yoga strap and it's new. I've got a couple of phone cases from, I think these are from, yeah, Velvet Caviar, both of them. I don't know if these are going to come up on camera, but it's a, like a holographic marble. Ah, uh, the rainbow is not coming up. There we go. Really pretty though. I didn't really use that one. This one I used though, so that one's not going to be on the blog sale, I don't think, because I don't think anyone wants like an actually old used phone case. And then a pop socket. 
like a ridge wallet here which holds cards and it's really handy. I have one of these, actually both Michael and I have one of these, but this was an extra one so I'm gonna have that on there also. And then the essential oils, I've got five essential oils and um, oh, the little camera stand there. So those are all my items for day 29. This is stuff from our kitchen purge, uh, day 29 for me. Some hydro flasks, some other miscellaneous uh, kitchen items. It's gonna be uh, things that we had a use for, but just didn't use, end up using anymore. So copper, a garlic grater, some bowls. Day 30, I had nail polish. I had 29 nail polishes and then one nail polish uh, makeup bag. So I just put all of them in there and give them away on Craigslist. And then for Michael's day 30, he had plant propagation trays. Okay, it's day 30. I've got 29 nail polishes here and one makeup bag. And I have a Craigslist customer here right now picking them up. So I gotta pack these up and I will see you guys in a bit. All right, day 30 for me. There is the Well, they were tofu trays that we cut, Christine cut the top off of and was using them to propagate plants. Uh, eight times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus all these trays. Okay, day 31, we got rid of our 31 items each, but we did it a little bit differently because I was doing the math and I was just curious. I wanted to you know, do the math and find out how many items would that be if a person was to go through the challenge for 30 days. And so I think it came to 465 items each, you know, for each person. And I was like, okay, so how much would it take to get to a thousand items? And so it was basically go through day 31 and add four more items, like if two of you are doing it. So anyway, once I did the math and I was like, oh my gosh, we could let go of a thousand items if we just added four more items to a day 31. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so for day 31, my 35 items were were crystals. I had a whole, I had a little basket full of a whole mix of different types of crystals. And Michael's 35 items, I think, were from our kitchen purge. I'm not 100% sure. I think it might have been like canned goods, dry goods, but you guys will see it in this clip here. Okay, it's day 31, and I have crystals today. So we've got amethyst, some amethyst clusters, points. Uh, I think there's some fluorite in here too. Yeah, we've got a few pieces of fluorite, and uh, lots of little quartz clusters. What else? There's a, I think this is a kukui seed there. Oh no, that's a, that's a shea butter seed. Crazy, huh? No, we'll throw that in there too. That one's a cool piece too. All right, so lots of crystals in there. Anyway, so I'm not sure how these are going to be organized on the blog sale. I don't know, maybe I'll do it like all one bunch or maybe I'll split them up. You know, amethyst, quartz, I don't know. I'll just have to see. But it'd kind of be fun to make it just a set, right? Okay, we'll see about that. But anyway, there is my day 31. We have now let go of 1,000 items for this challenge. That is crazy. All right, my day 31. I'm gonna go through some of my cookbooks here, call those down. I've got this old uh, tripod that Christine doesn't use anymore. This is a pad that we use when we're traveling overseas, a waterproof pad for her laptop and some other miscellaneous stuff from the kitchen. And then I'm gonna show you some other things outside I'm gonna to add to this list. Yeah, so all these rocks, there's well over 30. So right here, all these are going to be donated to the wash out back. I can't believe this minimalist challenge went by so fast already. I can't believe it's already over with. Um, but it was a lot of fun. I'm so glad we did this, but I have a few other items we're gonna be letting go of those still. So like the glass uh, display case that just sold. I just had my Craigslist customer. They just now picked it up and I had to stop and I had to stop filming and go uh, handle that. But that worked out perfect. They loved it. Um, so anyway, there's a few other items that I've got to include still. So that'll be like in uh, Minimalist Monday. It'll be like a bonus, you know, Minimalist Challenge video coming up for one of the Minimalist Mondays we have. Anyway, that was a fun challenge. I'm really glad we did that. And let me know how you guys are doing also and what stage you're at if you're doing this also or if you're just doing some spring cleaning. What I was gonna say, if you guys wanna see any chores like of, you know, living room chore or bedroom and, you know, bedroom closet chore um, and see how things look now that we have gotten rid of a thousand items in one month. If you want to see what things look like now, let me know and I can do a tour of something if you want. Um, otherwise, I will see you in the next video, which um, will be another video coming this week. So, and then we'll have Minimalist Monday, which, which will have the bonus, bonus uh, items of anything else we're letting go of. So, all right, I'll let you guys go and I love you. Have an awesome week and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.